All right, so let's talk about spreadsheet software. What's the most commonly used spreadsheet software currently? And I'd have to say that that would probably be Microsoft Excel. Microsoft Excel is actually part of the Microsoft Office Suite, which is a kind of a suite or a package of um, applications or software uh, applications that are uh, all sort of office productivity software. You might have heard of Microsoft Word, okay, or Microsoft PowerPoint as well too. Those are two other programs that are typically included in that suite. Um, many people have Microsoft Office installed on their computer. It's not a free program. You do have to pay for it, but a lot of people have it because it is really, really popular. Um, almost certainly if uh, you want work in some sort of a business environment, it's almost guaranteed that you probably have Microsoft uh, Office uh, as well as access to uh, you know all the included uh, Microsoft Word and Microsoft Excel on your computer at work. That's That really tends to be the norm in a lot of workplaces. Not everywhere, but very, very commonly used. Now, if you have Microsoft Excel already installed in your computer, then you're certainly good to go for this course, and that's great. It's a great piece of software. I have nothing against it whatsoever. Um, I also recognize, however, that not everybody can can afford to run out and buy, you know, uh, a piece of software just so that they can learn spreadsheets. And, and that's fine because you shouldn't have to, okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk to you a little bit about some of the free alternatives uh, to Microsoft Excel um, that have the same functionality, okay, um, and that you can install on your computer or you can have access to, um, certainly as a learning tool and quite possibly as a really good productivity tool for yourself too. So um, I encourage you to have a look at some of these options and choose something that's appropriate for you. Um, the first option I'm going to talk to you about is a free and open source program called LibreOffice. I'm going to pull up my applications folder right here and here we'll see it's uh, LibreOffice. It's a, a um, um, it's sort of kind of the open source answer to Microsoft Office. I'm going to go ahead and get it started right now. And um, it is available for Mac computers, for Windows-based computers, as well as for Linux computers. So it is cross-platform compatible. Um, and so it doesn't matter what kind, of, what kind of computer you have, you'll be able to download and install LibreOffice for free. It's a very good piece of software. Okay, I've been using it for years now um, as my main uh, word processor and spreadsheet and presentation uh, package. And it is really, really good. I'm, I'm actually quite surprised at how great it is, um, particularly considering that it's a free program. And that that's just terrific. Um, so the way that you would access that is you would go to the website LibreOffice.org and you would simply download it from there for free. It's a very quick install. Um, here's one thing I'll mention about LibreOffice. LibreOffice, you might already have Microsoft Excel installed in your computer and that's fine, but you might want to give this a try, particularly if you happen to have an older computer. LibreOffice is known as a, a somewhat of a, a lightweight uh, program and and Please, by, by what I mean by li lightweight is not lightweight in functionality, but lightweight in terms of its demands on your computer, okay, in terms of how much memory it takes, how many processing resources, that sort of thing. Um, it's a really well-built program, and it doesn't tend to take up as many resources. This is really good if you happen to have an older computer, okay? An older computer that's maybe not quite as powerful as some of the newer computers. You might find that uh, your computer has an easier time running a piece of software like LibreOffice as opposed to the full-blown latest and greatest version of, of Microsoft Office. There's exceptions, okay, to everything, of course, but I just wanted to let you know about that. I'm actually, the computer I'm working on right now is actually a bit of an older computer, and for that reason, I'm running LibreOffice on here, and I'll be doing most of my demos using LibreOffice. Um, and the nice thing though about this is that uh, the, the spreadsheet functionality, okay, and certainly the way that you write formulas and functions and all that stuff is identical, okay, across most spreadsheet applications. And that's what we're going to be focusing on in this course is that core functionality, right? Um, so even though, even if I demonstrate something in LibreOffice, you will be able to turn around and do this in whatever spreadsheet program you want to use, whether it's LibreOffice or Microsoft Excel or any of the other options I'm going to talk to you about. So speaking of these other options, I want to show you a few other options. Um, this is a program, LibreOffice is a program that you install in your computer, but there are some web application versions of spreadsheet programs that are available as well too, and I want to tell you about that. What is a web app? A web app is simply a program that you don't have to install on your computer, but rather it, it runs on the internet. It runs through your web browser, okay? So you would just use your, you would open up your web browser, you would go to a specific web page, you would 
would log into an account and then you would have access to the same functionality. Um, one, uh, a suite of web applications you might have heard of is Google Drive, okay? And this is completely free to use. Again, I'm really big on the free stuff. And guess what? If you happen to have a Gmail address, you already have access to all of the Google Drive applications, okay? All you need to do is just go to uh, drive.google.com and log in using your regular Gmail address credentials, and it will it will give you complete access to this entire suite of Office applications, very similar to Microsoft Office or LibreOffice, but it's all within your web browser, okay? And right here we see we can create documents, we can create presentations, we can create spreadsheets. There's even some other cool functions here too, a little outside the scope of our course right now, but some really, really neat things. And so here I've just logged in, here's just a sample spreadsheet I've created in Google um, and or in Google Drive. And, and this looks an awful lot like most spreadsheet applications, doesn't it? Yeah, exactly. Um, it has um, a lot of the same functions that you will see uh, in a regular, you know, in, in like a regular um, computer-based uh, or desktop-based uh, version of a spreadsheet application. Um, so it's, and it's certainly fine if you want to use something like this to do this course in, okay? Um, now, of course, you will need a reliable access to the internet. You do need an internet connection because you, you are doing this online. One of the neat things about this though is that you're not tied to a particular computer. So if you want to start your course on one computer and then you want to switch to a different computer and kind of keep working on it, you know, on, on a different computer, maybe your work computer or, or, you know, a laptop or a desktop, or you just want to switch around, you can certainly do that and you don't have to worry about moving your files around because everything is in the cloud, okay? So this is a really cool option and I encourage you to check this out. Um, another option is actually made by Microsoft. Okay, Microsoft actually has a, a suite of Office web apps that are free uh, to access and they are all browser-based as well, just like the Google Apps thing. And here I am, what you need to do is you need to have a SkyDrive account and so you can sign up for a free SkyDrive account, Sky account. And likewise, you can use this to create Word documents, Excel documents, PowerPoint presentations, all sorts of cool things like that. And here I have opened up just a plain, you know, sample uh, Excel uh, web app spreadsheet. And, you know, this looks an awful lot like a spreadsheet, you know, right? Like you've got all the grids, the columns, the rows, that sort of thing. And a lot of the same functionality that you will see in the full-blown version of Excel that you would normally install on your computer. So um, this is another option. And again, because it's web-based, you can access it from any computer that's connected to the web. So you don't have to be on the same computer all the time. You can just, as long as you remember your login information, your, your username and your password, you can go to the website, to the skydrive.live.com website and, you know, log in with your credentials and then access all of your documents in the cloud and then be able to edit them and do all that sort of the same functionality that we're going to talk about. Now, I am going to be using, uh, as I mentioned, I'll be using LibreOffice to actually um, demonstrate most of what I'm doing. Once in a while, I will switch over to these other applications and kind of show you a few examples of the same thing, you know, but in slightly different contexts. But I don't want you to get too hung up on the actual interface, okay? And the reason for that is because, you know, it doesn't matter what I teach you now, you know, the technology changes and you know a year from now five years from now ten years from now this interface is going to look different guaranteed and I know that when you're a learner when you're a new learner it can feel you know intimidating and a bit frustrating to have all of this stuff change um, and that's why when when I teach uh, concepts like spreadsheet concepts I really try to focus on explaining what's happening under the hood right giving you a core understanding of what it is that we're doing and why we're doing it. And my philosophy is that if I teach it to you that way, then you should be able to apply that knowledge in any spreadsheet application you want, whether it's Microsoft Excel or LibreOffice or, you know, Google Drive or, or, you know, the Microsoft Web App or any other new technology that might come along, any other new spreadsheet program that you might, you know, you might encounter in the future. So don't get too, too hung up on, you know, which button do you press exactly, but instead think about what it is that you're trying to do and we'll work through that together, okay? We're going to kind of build our powers of deduction and figure out how to use spreadsheet programs really intuitively, okay? Without having to rely on, you know, really 
uh, specific step-by-step -step stuff. I hope that that makes sense, okay? So there's a few free options, okay? LibreOffice. Um, I should also let you know LibreOffice is free. It's open source, which is a very special kind of free. It means that it's community-based and there's a community of programmers that works on this and it's a fantastic program. Um, it is, there's a foundation, kind of a nonprofit foundation behind it. And if you want to support them, you can certainly do that, but you don't have to. Um, it's actually a fork of another program called openoffice.org. So once in a while you might find uh, some references online, so maybe some older references to uh, open office as a, you know, as, as, as a, um, a spreadsheet application. And it's, it's practically the same thing as this, just LibreOffice is just sort of what I consider the updated version of open office or the newer version of open office. Uh, so LibreOffice is a great option as are these online, you know, these online web apps. These are certainly great as well, too. You can use any of these to get started in learning spreadsheets, okay? So I hope that that's helpful, and I will leave it at that for now. Uh, coming up soon, we're going to talk about what what exactly is it that we're going to be doing, what what is our project all about, um, and I'm really excited to show to get started with you. So I'll see you in that next video.